Hey Hoopers, this is Myson with B-Ball IQ and today I'm going to show you how you can get an easy steal on defenders when they do a spin move the incorrect way. So let's check it out and let's get you some easy steals and get you some buckets. All right, so right now I want to show you, uh, with, along with Coach Mick right here, he's gonna help us demonstrate the way to do a correct spin move. And we're gonna show you a way for a defender, if you do see somebody on offense who's doing the spin move incorrectly, we're gonna show you an easy way to get some steals and to rack those stats up. So check this out. Um, right now I'm gonna guard Coach Mick, and Coach Mick's gonna demonstrate how to incorrectly do a spin move and how to incorrectly handle the basketball in an open court situation. So let's check it out. So we got the ball right here and I like the fact that Coach Mick is dribbling low because if Coach Mick, say Coach Mick 6'7", say Coach Mick was dribbling high right now at this, this height. You know, as a little guard, somebody who's 5'9", 5 5'10", 5 like he said earlier, you're gonna be foaming at the mouth because as soon as that ball leaves his hand, if you're quick enough, you have an opportunity to jab to get the ball. So the opportune time to go for any steal is as soon as that ball leaves his hand before it hits the ground to where he can't go down and get it. So if I'm guarding Coach Mick and he's gonna demonstrate an incorrect spin move, if I'm guarding Coach Mick and he does this, so the key with that spin move is Coach Mick switched hands. Anytime you're guarding somebody who's switching hands on their spin move, there's an opportunity possibly for you to get an easy steal. So this time I'm gonna steal the basketball and show you the window of opportunity that you have to get a steal, go down and get an easy layup. So I'm guarding Coach Mick and he switches hands. And you have an easy steal. So again, the reason that this move is incorrect and you can switch hands on a spin move. It's not wrong to switch hands on a spin move. You just have to make sure that you protect your body. You put your body between the defender and the basketball. So one more time on the incorrect move. You're guarding him and he switches hands on the spin move. You got opportunity for a steal. Now, two things of caution right here. Now, I may have been called for a foul right there because I went for the steal, I touched his hand, and I also had my hand wrapped around his waist. So if he's coming slowly, I wanna make sure I have my hand right here and be accurate when you go for that steal. You can't hack at them, and you can't wrap your entire arm around their waist. So that's the incorrect way to do a spin move. Now Coach Mick is gonna demonstrate the correct way to do a spin move so little guys like me can't eat him up and can't get in his grill and steal the basketball. So let's see this. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. One more time, one more time, one more time. Yeah, I know you gotta go. Yep. See? Oh, man, okay. <laughs> I might have it, let's, let's see this. Yep, yep, yep. So as you can see, I went for that steal with my whole heart. <laughs> And Coach Mick being 6'7", 6'8", he protected his body, he protected the basketball by putting his body in between me and the basketball, and the spin move was out here. It wasn't in the front of him. It was over to the right towards the direction that he was going to. Now, it's so hard, it's impossible. Rondo probably couldn't even get that steal, right? So, one more time, going over incorrect and correct way. Slow, okay. Slow, we're gonna go slow. Incorrect. Oh. But the correct is great. <laughs> coach Mick's so good, he can't do it incorrect. I have to coach him how to do it wrong. So incorrect. Incorrect with the ball right in front of you on a spin move. Incorrect way. <sighs> Got it. So thanks for checking that out. If anybody switches hands on their spin move against you, make sure you get those cookies and go down for an easy layup. Uh, but be cautious. You don't want to get beat and get your coach mad. So make sure that that player is doing that spin move incorrectly, doing it loosely, so you can guarantee that you get that steal and you create some opportunity for your team, some momentum. So thanks for checking this out and we will see you on the next video.